All right, questions for Theos. Adam, and then we'll go to David in the back. Yeah, Theo, uh, Georgia's got a perfect season, obviously, number one ranking, string of blowouts and all that. They're seen as somewhat invincible. Where does that play into the motivation of this team, trying to do something no other team has done against Georgia this year? Uh, I just feel like that's, like, I mean, we don't really look, look at the record. We just look at them as, like, like, like we, we get that they play good team ball, but, like, we play good, good team ball too. So we look at them as, like, they put the pants on the same way we do. They put their shoulder pads on the same way that we, we do. We're not looking at them as, like, they're Superman. We, we just go in and we're going to work hard th this week and go in the game the same way that we went into every game expecting to win. Theo, what are some of those things that – those correctable mistakes that you guys can correct to have success against Georgia's offense, which can be explosive at times? Uh, it's, it's really just like because the mistake because the the mistakes that me, that we have made this past game were small mistakes. So it's really just getting in the film room and getting getting together so we're all on, on the same page. Jimmy, Theo, would, would you tell me what it was like when the news was broken to you and the team that Tennessee would accept a bold bid rather than impose a bold ban? Uh, honestly, I wasn't really, you know, paying attention to that because, <laughs> you know, that stuff had nothing to do with me. Uh, but, I mean, it's good to know that we get to go, that we, that we do get to go to a bowl game. So, I mean, it's just another game. Well, well, first, first, first we got to win one, one more to get there. But, I mean, once, once we do get there, it's good to know that we can go. <laughs> Theo, the way that, you know, obviously a lot of what happened at, at Kentucky, y'all did not play the way that you wanted to. Um, and then that fourth and 24 is converted. But then the next four plays, you get stops and win the game. I'm sure y'all had to be tired, fatigued, all that. How, how do you bounce back from a fourth and 24 on like 100th play of the game and, and get stops? Uh, that just goes to, you know, being, being competitive. Because we, because we all knew um, that we that we had to get a stop, that we knew that we had to at least hold them to a field goal. So that was, that was really just us, you know, co coming together and knowing knowing our responsibilities and just you know p pitching a shutout in that, in that last drive. Eric Finn. Yeah, kind of going off what Wes just asked um, after that fourth and twenty-four. You know, what was said in the huddle? You know, what was said amongst you guys out on the field to to bounce back and get that stop? Uh, obviously, you know, we, we had looked at the route and, you know, we, we, we had got to correct it, but then, you know, we just forgot about it and then we had, to, then we knew that we had to play four, that we, that we, knew, that we knew that we had to play four downs, so we just, you know, came together and, you know, and got to stop. What did go wrong on that fourth and 24? Uh, they, they just ran a route that we haven't really seen and then they kind of, you know, got, uh, like our corner got a little, little, little bit too high, and then he threw it like right there up underneath him. That it, it was something small, but I mean it obviously you know put, put a big uh, change in, in the game. But I mean it's it's small things, honestly. And when you look at Georgia's passing attack, just what do you all need to do to find success this Saturday? Really, just uh, just stop their big plays because we because we we've been watching film on them. And then they you know they have some guys who can who can take the top off of defense. So we just gotta contain them and then t tackle the running backs. Jimmy and Patrick. Uh, Theo, there's been a lot of conversation about Cedric Tillman having a breakout year because he has gained a lot of confidence. Could the same be said of you? Are you a lot more confident player? Do you think that's why you've been so productive this year? Uh, I honestly feel like that that confidence comes from the uh, the extra film study and then the defense that we, that we're playing. Uh, this defense is a little bit more simpler, and then with the film study, I can I, I can focus more on the offense, and then and then that really just like you know I can go I can go out there and play and be that kid that, that I was in the backyard. Hey, last three games you guys have played a lot of snaps, but there's also been a lot of third down opportunities where you guys have. Had a chance to go off the field, and haven't been able to do it. Is it almost, I don't say a mental block now, but is it almost like third down? It's kind of maybe in your heads a little bit, given how much it's been maybe a struggle the past few games. Uh, I mean, 
Once once we hit third third down, our mindset is really just to get off the field. But I mean, the only thing that's really been hurting us on third down is the quarterback runs. So I feel like if we limit the quarterback runs, then we get off the field more, more times than, than not. Theo, what is going wrong on those quarterback runs? I mean, I'm sure it's not the same thing over and over, but what's, I mean, obviously teams are continue to do that every week. So what's causing that? I mean, most of the time, I mean, we're, we're, we're in coverage, either playing zone or man to man. And then when they're not, not open, it's really the quarterback making a good play. Like, it's really like, I mean, obviously we can have better pass rush lanes or like some, something here, here or there to stop it. But I mean, most of the time, it's really him just making a good, good play. Back to Theo, what, what's going through your head when you all are out there play after play after play and you finally get back to the sideline and then your offense puts up a touchdown immediately? What's going through your head there? Uh, go back out there and get a stop, you know, get offense back on the field, <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, it's kind of nice to know that, you know, our offense can score like in 10 seconds, you know. So, I mean, we really don't care that we're on the field a lot because we know that once we get, get a stop, our offense can go score quick, and then we can get up on teams faster. So there's really a different mindset once we go out there. Theo, you have, I think, 10 pass breakups this season. I don't, I don't, I think it's probably more than you had in your first three years of your career. What, what, what's allowing you to make more plays on the ball this year? Uh, just my technique and like film, film study, like just knowing what, just knowing, knowing the receivers, like in, and knowing that, that their routes, knowing, knowing their fav, favorite routes that they like to run, and it's just me, like you know, honing in on, on my tech, on my technique, and then, then if I'm beat, you know, playing, playing through the hands, you know, and really just make, making a play on the ball. You, uh, you almost, got, you almost got that screen the other night. Was that uh, something you saw on film? And I guess you, you're maybe like you're disappointed you didn't get it right. See, uh, like. I, I knew the play was coming, and then you know, I kind of cheated up. And then, but the way he threw it, he threw it more forward. So I had to like try and dive and get it. But if he would have threw it like you know a better ball, I, I, I would have picked it. But it kind of, <laughs> kind of hurt my heart a little, little bit. <laughs> See, I know that you, you've already told us just a minute ago about you, you take this game like it would be any other game. But I mean, any time you play the team that's ranked number one in the country, that is an opportunity for for not just yourself, but for for the team, for the program, sure. for everybody, isn't it? Oh, for sure. It's a it's a big opportunity right right now. I mean, I mean, like we have we have a chance to you know to put a put a a, a big loss to their season, and this is a big game for us because you know it's like homecoming. So you know it's it, so with with the win here, you know it's like I don't, I don't even know how else to explain it. It's just going to be one one of those wins that you remember. Theo, Coach Garner said he told his defensive line unit that you come to Tennessee to play in games like this against Georgia. Mm -hmm. Do you see it that way? Uh, I mean, you come to Tennessee to play in any big game. But since uh, they're the next game, this is the biggest game. Theo, Georgia has three tight ends that have a pretty unique skill set. Uh, the freshman that's made plays and yeah. two other guys that are that are pretty big targets. Just what have you seen from, from them on film this week? Uh, they they will actually line up outside like like a receiver and run run routes too. So we have to take that into account, and you know we got to get the ma matchups on, on them because you know they're they're a little bit bigger, but they're still running routes that you know a, a regular slot receiver would run. So we just got to take that that into account too. We'll finish it there. What have you seen from uh, from Stetson Bennett uh, on film? Kind of what what makes him uh, so successful this season? His his feet, like he like if nobody's open, he can extend plays very well. And then if he needs to tuck tuck it and run, he will. And then he distributes the ball well to all all his all his uh, receivers and tight ends and running backs too. So he's like he's a very, very good quarterback and really just somebody that we have to you know uh, keep keep in the pocket and make him beat beat us with his arm. Thank you, Theo. Yep. Thank you, Theo. Yep. Thank you.